Welcome to the show that brings you up to the speed with, up to speed with happenings around the world of entertainment. Myself and my co-anchor will be dissecting and analyzing them for you as well. With me is Emerald Emenuga. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. Yes, How are you? Tingle is Friday. Mm, I'm not in that spirit of Tingle this Friday. So. Why? Why not? I, don't know, I think I've been experiencing the Friday thing since like Wednesday, so... Oh yeah? Yeah. Sure. Oh my so, God, it's our ballers. When I say experiencing, I don't mean I've been bawling or mm, plotting so or no. I've just been doing the almost the usual thing that I do Fridays. Mm. Tell us, fill us in. We would like to know the usual things tell us about do. your life. What do you do on Fridays? <laughs> okay, normally on Fridays I have a show that I host on IG Live mm. and you know, I shoot videos for my YouTube, I visit places, I taste like try to taste different kind of food. Mm. So I've I've So done, you've been doing that since I then, did since. that. And you call me your friend. You know, no, you've been busy. Food, you've YouTube. been busy. You know, after here you get carried on with other things and I just let you, you know, concentrate with that because I don't mm. want to like disturb you. But anyways, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Okay. I don't have Friday plans, sadly. I just want to chill, you know, just sleep. This just will be rest. the first time I mean, you are not having a Friday yes, plan. Yes, I never have plans, but you know I can call you and be like, yo, <laughs> you stop don't call, call me. me. <laughs> don't call me and complain. No, I won't complain. Okay. I'll probably just call you that. Yes, it's getting taunt. All right. Anyways, let's get to it, right? Yeah. All right. So the first, first on our lineup is Food Matters. As popular singer Skibi has shown off the receipts of about 1.3 million naira on food at a restaurant in Lagos State. He revealed the lavish amount spent on food on his Instagram story. The meal, however, is a typical jollof rice with turkey and fried dudu plantain, which amounted to the sum of $3,300, a rough estimate of about 1.3 million naira. Hmm. Do you think that's even true? Estimated to what amount? 1.3 million. Oh, uh, please. 3,300. 300. Naira, Naira. Let's be realistic mm. here. Naira. First of when I saw the receipt, but I think he's joking because mm. there's no way, there's no way in Nigeria you would buy food mm. that expensive. First off, mm. then second off, when I looked at the receipt, I saw that it's somewhere in Lekki. So, question is, where exactly in Lekki? In I've never yeah, ever seen dollars. where in Nigeria that you eat and you pay in dollars. Then, third of all, <laughs> please, when I looked at it, that's the usual price, like the usual price for almost every restaurant for rice. He even went to a buka, like buka buka, all these mm. very nice bukas in Lekki. So, um, jello fry is 500, plantain is 300. Everybody knows that plantain no, is 300. Not everybody knows that. A lot of people. Which do you eat, man? A lot we, don't, we don't bowl so low, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, I'm just messing. A lot of people you. are aware that plantain yeah. is 300 Three, naira. I'm talking about the place naira. right now because I eat there. No, where normally, give, like, did they pay you? Why are you giving them shout outs? Oh, sorry. Anyways, um, we know that mm. price um, price list is just our normal food. Mm. If you want to eat the average kind of food, and it's very unfortunate that he's playing around. And people actually know that he's joking. All right. So, um, you know, you trust Instagram and Twitter people now. Now they've estimated how much a spoon of rice is. It's about <laughs> 190,000 naira. I think it's ridiculous. But this brings it to my question. What's the most ridiculous amount you spent on food? On food? I'm not much, I'm not much of a person that eats food. I, I eat junks a lot. I really don't eat food, but I really can't, I can't remember. But I think maybe fifteen k for a plate. A plate. That's fair. Yeah, that's really that's fair, fair. Depending on where I went to, so I think and it's a place I went on to. What they're serving you? It was well. actually very talking about what they served me. It's a very tiny something, but mm. the place because of where ambience. It, exactly. So sometimes so, you pay for ambience. You're not we, actually paying for. I the think food. we actually do pay for ambience almost all the time. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, 15k if I can yeah, remember. Me I don't think uh, my I will pay anything ridiculous because once I see the bill and it's outrageous, let me see you work. Work. <laughs> work, eh, work what challenge. if it is <laughs> what if it's your birthday? Yeah, if it's my birthday, of course. Yeah, I spend um, ridiculous amounts when I'm in the celebratory mood on whatever, actually. Okay. So it's not just on food now. So if I am in that mood, of course, but I have options. I'm a foodie. For those who don't know, I'm a foodie. So I know, I know, we know, we know, I know a lot of restaurants. So if A is not working, I'll go to B unless I'm actually craving A. 
You know a lot of restaurants. That means you lied to me the day that I asked you to take me somewhere to get food here. Your budget matters. I know. No, I wasn't. I, I didn't give you a budget. But you were looking for. No, I was of, not looking for kind of. No, I just said. But I took you to one event. Excuse me. That was so after I, 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 I screamed and screamed and screamed. I told you to take me somewhere to eat. And you, you were like, I don't know anywhere around here. And I, inside my head, I was like, is he, this guy is he only eats at places I go and tell the what? <laughs> well, I took you somewhere at the end of the day. And I suffered from eating from there. Why are you making it look like I'm the bad guy? And I didn't cook the food. Anyways. I took you to a restaurant. <laughs> it's fine. And it was good, actually. It was I suffered from food. eating that food, you I, know. I don't know if it was the food. You're not sure yourself. I'm sure. Did you go to the hospital? I am sure. Did you get diagnosed? My sister is a doctor, so yeah. Oh, all right. So let's move on to the next story. Next time, I won't take you to no restaurant. All right. <laughs> so Nigerian actress Anita Joseph has advised parents to stop kissing their kids in the mouth. Taken to her Instagram page, Anita Joseph shared a video advising parents to peck their children on their cheek or forehead. According to her, kissing children in the mouth is disgusting and not hygienic. What's your, what's your take on that? <sighs> parents not kissing their children in the mouth. That, I think when you say parents not kissing their children in the mouth, I think that's a little too far. Why is it? Why is it I'm coming, far? I'm coming. Take, for example, a mother you tell the mother not to kiss her child in the mouth. Mm. I feel like that's really something that might not, like, it's, you can't tell me not to do that if I want to do that to my child. Mm. Okay, I understand um, when she mentioned, she mentioned the hygiene, hygiene thing medical, and all about. Health risk and all if, that. I feel like it's okay for the mom. It's okay for the mom. Obviously, she wouldn't want her child to you know, um, have whatever germs and all, especially when the mom is a clean person. But when it's strangers, be too clean in the mouth. family, um, friends. friends, no, I really, most times when I ever see people do that to yeah, a child, I'm like, it irks me. Like, I ask question. Doing? One time I was at the mall and I saw the girl, she was, you know, kissing this child in the mouth and I had to ask her, is that your baby? She's like, no, the mom is over there. And I was like, oh, that is not your baby and you're kissing her in the mouth. That's really, that's, that's offensive. I don't, I don't like that. I won't bite that. But if it's my child, I will kiss my child in the mouth. Um, it's a bit difficult for you to tell a mother not to kiss their child in mm -hmm. the mouth. But if you're thinking about the hygiene and the medical implications, obviously. Now, there's so many things that goes into the mouth. an adult's mouth. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know. Be fair. I, wait, why are you? What? Just trying to be specific when you're talking. Like it would really help. I me said there's so many things that go into you. To an adult's mouth okay. that is not allowed to go into a baby's mouth, right? Yeah, that's So true. whatever it is. I think your body has a way of reacting to things differently. So my body can take some things that can go into my mouth. How do you know a baby that has never had such an is in, in his or amount is going to survive it? So I think for the medical risk and the, you know, hygiene purpose, I totally agree with Anita Joseph. But of course, motherly love would not let us do that. that. I, I don't think that would ever happen. <laughs> yeah, motherly like love. But, but for strangers, I totally agree with yeah, you. Sure. I think that is actually very disgusting that... You, it's, it's, it's not your child and then you're arguing and kissing and doing all of that. I think, you know, too much. Do you, even if, okay, do you think uh, parents or, yeah, parents or better still mothers, do you think mm. they can prevent this from happening? Yeah, just one, How? one of strangers, one of, you know, in-laws. How know, do you even know? All those people. How do you even know unless that? Unless you're not there. But they, I think we kissing need your child to in start, you know, putting the information out there so that people are aware. You know, the more people hear things like this, the more they will stop doing things like that. Do you understand? So okay. I think we should put the world out there and, you know, we we'll probably make the world a better place by not kissing all the people's babies. In the mouth. You, you, you can peck them. That's oh, fine. Are you sure about that? You I wouldn't want them. anyone to peck my child, man. If you're not family, you shouldn't well, peck Well, you, child. I bet you've pecked people's babies. What makes you think I like babies uh -huh. to start with? Uh, oh, you told me one time. That. You told me one that time. Won't. Let me not spill the milk. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. So let's move into the next story. Nigerian rapper Rugged Man has teased the villagers in River States who ate a blue marlin fish without knowing its cost. Recall that some days back, a fisherman in River State uh, made a huge catch of a gigantic swordfish. In, a, in reaction to this, the famous rapper Rugged Man said, a Nigerian man captured a blue marlin fish worth $2.6 million. Him and in village people ate it. They didn't know, they didn't know now, laugh, <laughs> laughing, and then he said, 
they know they watch Nigel Wild. But you know, ignorance sometimes is very, very risky. 2.6. You don't have to watch Nigel Wild to know that. I always tell people. Did you people, know a blessed be no, Did you know a blue marlin fish? Yes, was I that do. Expensive. I I don't know was that it's that expensive, ex but I know exactly. about the fish. Wait, excuse yeah, me, I'm coming. Know. I know about the fish, but I don't know it's that expensive. Now, what I'm trying to say is this: like I always tell my younger ones, whatever you see, if you see something and you, you don't know what it is, just you don't just, eat it. No, not even don't, don't eat it. You can do research. So you have Google and all. They said villagers. They okay, I'm coming. I'm people. coming. I'm coming. Yeah. Villagers, where River State, where where. Yeah, River State. River State, okay. Doesn't mean they don't have a, an Android phone. You can mm. tell me that. So, still boils down to what I'm saying. If they had, um, I mean, ask questions. Maybe they just, as, as they caught the fish, they're like, oh my God, oh. um, everybody's happy, partying, and then like, let's kill it and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> and they just ate the fish. So, yeah, ignorance is actually very, is one of, is, is a big, I, I don't know, like, it's a big thing that can either destroy you if you don't take your time about it. So if they, are, if they had gotten that information about that fish, ha, he would not even tell anybody that he caught Trust that fish. Me, like he would just, would quietly just quietly take the fish to whatever uh, next place he has to, but, to get but, what he's looking for. But no wait. in Nigeria, will he be able to sell it for two? Question Six. about that. Where do you want to sell that fish, that amount? And how do you, even if, because now that well, we're aware of the cost of the fish, it's not here in Nigeria. Mm. It's over there. Mm -hmm. So if he wants to sell the fish, how? It's, it's a global village now. The communication, just get somebody that knows about it that can and communicate to someone over there. It's mm -hmm. a global village. You don't have to really be there to sell it. Why there. do you think that fish is so expensive? Because it's going out of extinction and um, okay. it's actually um, an endangered species. So they're trying everything to preserve it because very soon we'll probably not see a blue marlin fish oh, anymore. So that's okay. why it is so expensive. Interesting. Yes. All right, but um, ignorance sometimes can make you do the dandiest things. And I can imagine the regrets this guy I is feel feeling like right he, now. Like, finding what? out the amount of this two fish. Is, is, is even these <laughs> villagers, they are made for life. Do you know what 2.6 million dollars? That's a lot of money. A lot. For just catching a fish. I hope I get that lucky. Hmm. How many times do you go close to water? Second of, can you even fish? You'll be surprised at the things I can do for $2.6 million. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to consider being a fisherman if this guy got that lucky. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So we'll be going on the music break. As you know, it's Friday and we're just about to vibe and just, you know, have some fun. So kick your feet up, relax and chill with us. Thank you. 